Hello everyone. I want to use this method of solving math problems without using the blackboard um, just to test it out and see if I can solve some problems just for solving sake um, and then help instead of having to wait until the situation is perfect for me to make a video. So sometimes I'm just going to use the, um, the tablet that I have to solve some math problems. So let's say we're supposed to use the power series to write um, a polynomial for natural log of 1 plus x. Um, the question we want to ask ourselves is, um, what do we have? So remember that the basis or our key or the secret to power series is basically um, believing that if you have 1 minus x as a rational expression like this, that you could actually write this out as 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed you keep going plus x to the n as long as the absolute value of x is less than 1. So all we need is to be able to rewrite uh, whatever function we're given to look like this. As long as it looks like this we can write it out this way depending on what this x becomes. So if we look at natural log of 1 plus x um, it doesn't look like x you can't you can't so what do we know well we know that if you take the derivative of a natural log function it tends to give you a rational expression okay remember that the natural log of x is 1 over x sorry the derivative to dx of natural log of x is 1 over x and this gives us hope that we might be able to create a rational expression so let's see what will happen if we take the derivative of this, so we can make something that looks like this basic thing that we're looking for. Okay, so let's say we take the derivative of natural log of 1 plus x. Well, our answer is going to be, generally the rule is the derivative of what's inside over what's inside. I learned that from one of my professors. So this is going to be the derivative of what's inside. In this case, it's 1. And what is inside is 1 plus x. As you can see, 1 over 1 plus x looks very much like 1 over 1 minus x. We're just saying in this case that x is negative. And this implies that we have 1 over 1 minus negative x. So based on this, we can say that the derivative of the natural log of 1 plus x can be written as 1 over 1 minus negative x which we can now apply this rule to. Remember, all we were doing here was just plugging in x into this polynomial expression. So it's going to give us 1 plus, instead of writing x this time, we're going to write negative x. And we're going to just leave it like that, plus another negative x. But this time it's squared, plus another negative x. This time it's cubed. We just keep going like that until we get to negative x to the n. So... That's good. But remember the mission was not to find the uh, power series or the polynomial function that represents natural log of 1 plus x. I mean of uh, the derivative. This is not our mission. Our mission is to get this. Okay, that's the actual mission. Just trying to draw a star here. Yeah, I'm terrible at it. That's not a star. What is that, Newton? Okay, so at this point what do we do to a derivative for us to get the function back? Well, we need to integrate. So we're just going to take the integral of both sides, which simply means we are integrating d dx of the natural log of 1 plus x. Okay, dx. And that's going to give us the derivative of the right-hand side the here, right here. So I'm just going to skip the middle portion. So we're going to have 1. Um, this one gives us minus x this gives us plus x squared this gives us minus x cubed plus top 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 plus um this is going to give us now i'm going to break this up into which is a good thing to always do negative one to the n then x to the n so negative one to the n you treat it as a constant and x to the n is the variable and we do all of these dx okay so the left-hand side is going to give us back what we had originally, which is the natural log of 1 plus x. And on the right-hand side, we're going to have the integral of each of the functions. 
polynomials are always easy to function to integrate or differentiate that's why the power series is a good thing so this gives us if we take the integral of one it's going to be x and it's going to be minus x squared over two the next term is going to be plus um x cubed over three minus this is going to be x to the fourth over four and plus tap 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 plus well we'll keep this negative one to the n and we're going to take the integral of x to the n that's going to be x to the n plus one over n plus one so see this is basically what we were looking for this was the question so that question mark at the beginning that's it so what you put there is basically whatever you made here so we go back here and say that this is going to be negative 1 raised to the n x to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 beautiful i need to remove this and that's it let's fill it out Okay, now please leave a comment in the comment section if you like this this method like this method of just solving a problem. Okay, no videos, no intros. Just put a problem on the thing on the board, not on the tablet, and just solve it. Because this way, I don't have to wait for an ideal condition to record a video. Just solve the problem. Please leave a comment in the comment section. Like this video. Make sure you're subscribed. If you're not subscribed, I'll see you in the next video. Never stop learning. Because those who do, stop living. Bye-bye.